Hey everyone, uh, this is Imagine Your 50th. At the request of several of my friends over a good amount of time, uh, I have been requested to do some of my voice impressions and put them on YouTube, so here I go and I hope you enjoy. <gasps> Hello, my name is Homer J. Simpson. The J stands for J. Dough sounds delish! I'll just throw on a pair of jeans and wait a minute, who is this? Uh, my name is Barney Dumble. I'm 40, I'm single, and I drink! Hey, hey, kids! <laughs> oh, I need a drink after that. Oh, oh. Boy, Haven, I was talking about Star Wars, you know, with the lightsabers and the fighting and the wing, wing, wing. Oh, no! That's my car! She needs premium gas, dude! It is, who is that bloody gecko? Ah, uh, that's Hopper Simpson, sir. One of your boobs from Sector 7G. Simpson, eh? I'll remember that name. Oh, Brian, the ears are so, so smooth. Stewie, your head is so, so soft. How, 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 how you doing that? Oh, everything's so wonderful. Oh, these clothes. <laughs> man, Lois must have written the book on man, please, in. Too bad Loretta doesn't allow white literature into our household. All right. Uh. Luke, get your sexy space ass back here. Hello, and welcome to Sword Over California. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll be getting boarding in a few moments, but first, let me go over some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please remove all carry-on items and place them in the other seat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. When hinges creak in doorless chambers, and strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls, wherever candlelights flicker, where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. I am your host, your ghost host. <laughs> Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. To our valued guests, welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. In just a few moments, the library doors in front of you will be opening. Please, stand back from the doors as they will be opening toward you. Thank you. Oh! Oh, my siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people! And welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Hey, Michael, me amigo, it's joke time. So it is. And what darling people I have sitting under me. Pierre, you rascal, you. Let's put on the show. Mon ami, I'm always ready, as you say, to put on the show. <whistles> oh, pardon, madame. That we said was my friend Fritz. Ach, to leave. I almost forgot to mind up a perch. Glad to see you on a board or a shore. <laughs> Wherever you are. My goodness, you're all staring at us. We'd better start the show rolling! Wait, wait! We forgot to wake up the Glee Club! When you marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Is that me? You wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker. A fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. Turns to me, and he says, Why so serious? Comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? Sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, and welcome to Muppet Vision 3D! Ah. Oh, 
worn out. You see, the kids today, they don't understand the jazz music because, you see, the kids today, they have their rap music with the bippin' and the loppin' and the bippin' and the boppin'. You see, the kids don't know what the jazz is all about. You see, jazz is more like new coke. No, it's more like jello pudding because it'll be around forever. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, you may think you're so powerful, Malone, but this is my dream. Mmm, doing a presents for you, I am. <laughs> You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. What is it, Mary? Do you, do you, do you want the moon? Well, just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around and I'll pull it down. Just a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. Oh, goodness gracious! A very, very happy birthday to you! Oh, was that just magnificent? I was thinking we're starting to get a little dodgy in the mill park, but in that finale, it, wow! My uncle had a problem with his probate, and he had to take these big pills and drink lots of water! Uh, the two mice fell into a vat of cream. One of them drowned immediately, the other one churned the cream so hard that he kicked into butter and, and climbed out. I'm that second mouse. It's getting kind of hard to believe things are going to get better. I've been drowning too long to believe that the tide's going to turn. Good news, everyone! I found a way for a toaster to love, yes! Hello, I'm Nigel Thorne, buddy. Today we're going to be looking at the wonderful zebra. <laughs> Hi, I'm John C. Riley. Listen to my new song, John C. Riley, Rhapsody in A, tonight on NPR. Cameras? Back in my day, we didn't have cameras. We just had to override to remember what happened. When was the last time you went to the aquarium with your daughter? On a Tuesday. Visa debit is easier than cash and checks.